Hello, my name is Ikel O'Harrod, and this is the Future Fiction Factory. And today we have the privilege of playing around with a brand new language model. It's called Llama 3.1. And it's not only Llama 3.1, but it's Llama 3.1, 405 billion parameters, 405 billion parameter model. And we're going to be playing around with what is arguably state of the art. It's as good as GPT 4.0 and it's from Meta. So let's, let's play around with it. Let's write a story today and let's do it quickly. And let's see if we can have a conversation with this large language model. Let's jump right in. Okay, we're here inside of Meta AI. If you want to get to Meta AI, all you have to do is type in meta.ai and it'll take you to their site and then it'll have you log in and you will either log in with your Instagram or your Facebook account. Once you have done that, then you have to figure out whether or not you are using the language that the large language model that you want. The large language model that you want is the big one. As a matter of fact, you can see right down here, it even gives you a little preview that says, get a limited number of text only responses on the latest model, which better handles complex prompts. And you can try it. So you can get a limited number of uh, text only prompts. You're not gonna get pictures out of it. You're just getting text out of it. And the way that you change the model is you go down here, over here in the left hand corner down here, you go down here to settings, you click on settings and settings will have a little thing right here that says change your model. Select the Meta Llama model that's best for your types of prototypes. And then you click into it right here and it. I was on the default setting is the 3.170 billion but I have the 3.1405 billion parameter model, the preview, and it's set up and ready to go. So we're going to write a really quick story. We're not gonna go crazy because it'll only give us a limited amount of things to say to it, right? We want to make sure that we are concise and have really a plan, a game plan. So I've come to the conclusion, I figured it out. I think that I wanna have a story about a young male who finds a phone that can talk to the future. I don't know what it's going to do. That's the only nugget that I really have in my head. So we're gonna see if we can write something that is compelling about a young male who finds a phone that can talk to the future and how he uses it to become, let's, yeah, how he uses it to become wealthy and powerful. How about we do that? I'd like to write a story about a young male who finds a phone that can talk to the future. And this phone he uses to create a fortune for him and his family that is beyond dreams. I'm wanting that story to have some happy parts to it and something that is possibly a life lesson, even though I still want him to end up rich. Can you give me some type of outline for a story that's something like that? Here's a possible outline for your story. The future in his hands. Protagonist. Alex, a young man from a humble background struggling to make ends meet. Inciting incident. Alex finds a mysterious phone that allows him to communicate with his future self. Rise to wealth. One, initial success. Alex uses the phone to get advice from his future self on small, low risk investments and business ventures. He starts to see some success and earns a decent income. Growing ambition. As Alex becomes more confident, he starts to use the phone to get guidance on bigger, riskier investments. He begins to amass a significant fortune. You know what? Let's change that. What we're going to do is make it 
Let's change a couple of the parameters of the story. The phone is not to communicate with his future self. It is to find out future information. It is a smartphone. And so it can access information from a time period somewhere in the future, or maybe even multiple time periods. This is a very highly advanced phone that has nothing to do with his future self. So if you could build a story that kind of works around that and the original premise that I gave you, it would be highly appreciated. Thank you. The Phone Oracle. Alex, a young man from a humble background, struggles to meet to make ends meet. Inciting incident, he discovers a mysterious, highly advanced smartphone that allows him to access information from various points in the future. Rise to wealth. Initial discoveries. Alex uses the phone to gather information on future market trends, technology breakthroughs, and emerging industries. He starts to make informed investments and business decisions. Insider knowledge. Alex gains access to confidential information on upcoming mergers, acquisitions, and product launches. He uses this knowledge to make savvy investments and build a lucrative portfolio. Futuristic insights. The phone provides Alex with glimpses into future innovations, allowing him to develop and patent new technologies, further increasing his wealth. Life lessons. Information overload. As Alex becomes more reliant on the phone, he starts to feel overwhelmed by the sheer amount of information available. He begins to struggle with the moral implications of using future knowledge for personal gain. Consequences of meddling. Alex's actions, influenced by future information, start to have an unintended consequence on the world around him. He begins to realize that altering the timeline can have far-reaching and devastating effects. A crisis of conscience. Alex faces a moral dilemma. Continue using the phone for personal gain or using his knowledge to make a positive impact on the world. Redemption and growth. A new path. Alex decides he to use the phone's information to drive positive change, investing in substantial energy, medical breakthroughs, and social causes. Collaboration and mentorship. Alex partners with experts and innovators to develop and implement his ideas, creating a network of like-minded individuals working towards a better future. A sense of purpose. Alex finds fulfillment in using his knowledge to make a meaningful difference rather than solely accumulating wealth. Climax. A rogue agent, a rival, a rival discovers the phone existence and will stop at nothing to claim it, threatening Alex's newfound purpose and the timeline itself. A desperate gamble. Alex must use his knowledge of future events to outwit the rival and protect the phone, ensuring that its power is used for the greater good. Resolution, a new era. Alex's actions create a ripple effect, inspiring a new generation of innovators and change makers. A legacy of hope. Alex's name becomes synonymous with visionary leadership as he continues to use the phone's information to drive humanity towards a brighter future. Okay, so do I like this? Yes, I do. It's good enough for this video. As a matter of fact, it's probably good enough for a real story. And let's listen to it on Eleven Labs. The Oracle. In the heart of the city, where skyscrapers pierced the sky and neon lights danced across the pavement, Alex Chen lived a life of quiet desperation. His days blurred together in a haze of monotony, working multiple jobs to make ends meet and his nights were spent worrying about the future. But all of that changed on a fateful evening when Alex stumbled upon a mysterious phone in an abandoned alleyway. The phone, sleek and silver, seemed to hum with an otherworldly energy. As Alex picked it up, he felt an electric tingle run through his fingers. The phone's screen flickered to life, displaying a cryptic message. Welcome, Alex. I am the Oracle. You have been chosen. At first, Alex dismissed the phone as a prank. But as he began to explore its capabilities, he realized that the Oracle was something extraordinary. It could access information from the future, 
providing him with insights into the stock market, technological breakthroughs, and even the outcome of sporting events. The Oracle's power was intoxicating, and Alex soon found himself using it to amass a small fortune. But with great power comes great danger. Victor, a ruthless and cunning individual, had been tracking the Oracle's signals, and he would stop at nothing to acquire its power for himself. As Alex delved deeper into the Oracle's capabilities, he began to realize that he was not the only one searching for it. Maya, a brilliant scientist with a troubled past, had been tracking the Oracle's signals as well. She was determined to unlock its secrets, but her motives were unclear. As Alex and Maya formed an uneasy alliance, they began to unravel the mysteries of the Oracle, navigating a complex web of time travel politics. All right. Uh, it feels a little generic, but as you dial in and dial in, I think that there's a very strong possibility that this is a nice alternative, especially when you put it in something like I don't know, a large language model uh, aggregator like Open Router or something like that. Truly, truly an amazing, amazing piece of software. Definitely uh, writes like it's uh, maybe a little gpt 4 ish It definitely writes like that. I would love to be able to get into the parameters and tweak them around and see if we can get it to be a little more creative and a little less stodgy. Anyway, my name is Ikello Herod. We have been playing around with Llama 3.1405 billion parameters. All right. That's me. Like, subscribe, please hit that uh, notification bell because YouTube, well, it likes YouTube. And I will see you, every single one of you, in the next video. Talk to you later.